you faced you. Jose Estrada in your debut match on Raw, but he ends up getting injured in the match, and you win by count out. So it's your debut on Raw. Yeah. You've got all the guy liner on, and yeah. you are mysterious. You can talk. You're not deaf. <laughs> But then your opponent gets injured and you win by count out. Like, how, how were you feeling at that point? Because this is your first one. You're like, I'm, I'm going to nail this and then something happens and you kind of... Like, how were you feeling coming out of it? Was, were you feeling okay about it? In sense of, and how, how were they planning to kind of go from there? I, I felt like a bag of prison ass. <laughs> Does that sum it up for everyone? It's probably not a description you've heard before, so... Feel free to use it. And I apologize for those offended. Uh, no, I felt, I felt pretty rotten, you know? Um, I, you know, you, you never want to hurt an opponent, let alone in your debut uh, after having, you know, eight weeks of vignettes, which they hadn't been doing for a long time. You know, you think back to Razor Ramon, you think back to the Million Dollar Man, you think back to the, the characters that had vignettes. They were being set up to come in as a star. And I knew that's what these vignettes were meant to do, even though it was just me standing on Brooklyn rooftops with some model and running around and hitting people randomly in the streets with a trench coat on. <laughs> as much as they didn't make sense, I still knew that they were trying to set me up as much as they could. So I go out there. I was like, right, I have no idea what this character is, but the one thing I have confidence in is my wrestling ability. Until I knock out my opponent. <laughs> Two minutes into the match. And I'll never forget it. I, we, we hit the move and I was like, ooh, back of my leg. Man, that kind of hurt. I looked down, I'm like, oh, hmm. <laughs> Timmy White who was the referee that night, who was the referee for my first ever match for the WWF on a house show. He's, he's the referee for my first ever match on TV. He goes, he's out, kid. <laughs> he starts counting. I'm like, oh, Timmy, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Very high pitched like that too. Oh, oh, Timmy, shit, 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 Timmy. <laughs> Watch it back because that one was taped. They, they, they would tape, they would do a live raw and then tape a raw. <laughs> I'm watching it at home and I just hear JR go, inauspicious a debut for Edge. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank you. And it, it was. Here's how I look at it. Nowhere to go but up. And thankfully, I've heard rumors that, you know, Jose broke his neck and all of these things. It's not true. He didn't break his neck. Or I didn't break his neck. Um, he had a bunch of pinched nerves in his, his neck from that because when, when I came down and landed on him, it, it, you know, pinched his head to the side. And, uh, yeah, unfortunate. There's also a fun Easter egg. If you ever watched Los Bericos, Jesus Castillo looks like he walked into the wrong room. Like, he never agreed to be a wrestler. And whenever he's in the ring, he's like, huh, why am I in these jeans? Every time. It, it, and the more you watch it, the more you can see it. <laughs> I, I, and I, then I went through the Bariquas like a hot knife through butter. I think, like, each week after that, I wrestled the Bariquas. And it's like, clearly, they have no plan for me. <laughs> they were building you up to Savio. <laughs> but it never got there. That's the thing. It never even got to, like, the main Bariqua. If only the missed opportunities. 